when you first start programming, you really don't know a project to do. Uh, sure, you can go to a boot camp or you can go to uh, university or you can get a project idea from your friend, but it really doesn't matter what projects you do in the beginning because all you have to do is a learning process. So you just need to deep dive, get it done, and just uh, learn as much as possible and not really skim over the projects. It's not about completing them. It's really about learning from them. So my name is Phil. I became a senior developer after the age of 30. If this video becomes a use to you, comment or share. It helps in the algorithm a lot. And maybe you can comment something about a coding project you've done in the past. And we read all the comments and I'll respond personally to each and every one of them. So at this point, when I first started programming, maybe it was like three or four months in after my boot camp. So I, I studied for like one, three months and then I didn't really know what to do. And then, um, so the way my boot camp worked it was three months and then it was like two or three months of projects. And then during those projects time, I think uh, the boot camp offered me to do two projects. And the first project I did was a, uh, it was for a board game cafe. So it was pretty fun. I remember, um, I don't know, I always talk about this all the time, but I was really into Magic the Gathering when I was growing up. And uh, it was this, uh, it was this company and they needed, they had a whole bunch of uh, games and they wanted to kind of uh, put it in the system so people could search for them by like uh, language level, uh, how much Korean they needed to know, how difficult it was. And they had a huge CSV file. So I remember having to migrate from a CSV file to, PH, uh, to MySQL. And I will kind of go through that here. So uh, I just cloned the repo. So uh, let's look, it's really old because um, you can kind of tell the Git Git branch is still called master and it's not called main anymore. So it's like a really long time ago. Um, anyways, so here we are. I'll just open in code. I have not looked at it in a while. So let's take a look. Yes, I trust myself. Um, I remember I didn't even know to uh, name the things. So <clears throat> I make this a little bit bigger. I had extra files for my reference. And then uh, I had some files here. So I had some uh, SQL file for the uh, for what kind of data that we wanted. So drop table if exists, basic DL data. So I think DL stood for dice latte uh, data. We had some kind of fields like ID, name, um, published year, minimum number of players, best number of players, min time, and then lang dependence. So how much Korean or English they needed to know. And uh, you know, this is just a MySQL uh, database. And um, lock into data tables and uh, this was the first way to do it and obviously this is not the way to do it um, now I'm looking at it, I don't even, I don't even understand why we did it this way um, we just had a huge uh, I guess CSV file that we oh yes now I remember yes I we didn't drop straight into the data uh, the database of the file or a CSV file we made this data structure and we copy pasted it into here Holy, that's pretty funny to think about like how far I've come, but uh, that's pretty funny actually. So, uh, so it says lock tables, uh, basic DL uh, data to that table, right? And then insert into, it has all this um, data. Like you can see here, uh, this one is, what is this one? Is the ID, uh, wait, I don't even know. This seems to be the name, six NIMT. Uh, came out in 1994, and then it's just a bunch of numbers. So the CSV file was actually this one, right? It's so you can see that the CSV file it's it's a whole bunch of headers. So the first object name, object ID, rating, uh, the B average, average, average weight. So that's like the um, like I think the uh, difficulty, original name, min players, and it had all these kind of things. You see games like Alien Artifacts. Uh, let's see if it has my favorite game, Splendor. Uh, Splendor is a great game. If you have not played it, play it. Um, what other games do you have? Uh, Room, Room, Room Cube. Room Cube is like another great game. If you guys have never played, I'm really into board games myself. My wife and I we play a lot of board games. Um, uh, we have we have Catan, we have uh, Splendor, and a whole bunch of other games. If you guys ever come to Korea, maybe we can play some games as well. So. Uh, here we are. Uh, so that was the Dice Latte SQL. Um, this was some, this was saving the MySQL to uh, my database. So that's the chat 
application connection string, the new PDO, and then it didn't have a password, and then create, and this was creating all the tables. Oof. Remembering, trying to remember all this is like really hard. So, uh, dice latte game dirt. So this meant dirty. So uh, create table the dirty. Just I was just uh, inserting from the um, <clears throat> from the database, I guess, and uh, from the CSV file straight in, and then there was no processing. Load data in file to the exam. Uh, I don't remember here. Uh, into table the dirty table create table BGG table. So this was some SQL stuff that I was working with. S uh, dice latte save to DB. So let's check this out. Uh, this was a connection string, I guess. I guess I took this from a different. I don't remember. Uh, dice latte create table create table. MySQL. I have no idea what uh, what I was doing here. Um, here's a PHP file. Uh, file get contents. Then all string uh, trim explode on um, the all string and then some other stuff. I guess I was just uh, playing around here, but obviously the code is uh, not super uh, done well, I would say. I would do it way different, but um, the page is linked from the search pages anchor, which is top 10. Get data in JSON form from API, which is top 10, api.php. With that data, show all information to HTML page. So I guess this is what's going on, the XML HTTP request. Um, inside list and then there's some element called uh, top 10 list wrapper <laughs> and then that's where I was putting in the top 10 kind of stuff that's pretty cool so uh, this was kind of extra just uh, files for myself so I didn't forget what I was doing and the actual code was actually in the dice uh, latte DL admin so this is the admin stuff so here's the uh, PHP scripts to insert into the database so here's the MySQL, here's preparing the string, I remember this, and then executing, uh, I remember this, so prepare and executing, so uh, something, um, STH, uh, DB prepare, select star from, so this is getting all the date rows, and uh, I just added some pre to kind of like look at the data, I guess. Let's look at this, DL, DL CSV to MySQL, Okay, so maybe this was like one of like the big ones that I was really doing. Uh, all strings, so file get contents to the file that was in here. So that's this file here, collection 2017, when is this? January 19th. Okay, so uh, all string trim, echo, explode, PHP, EOL. And then it's uh, single table keys, insert into uh, just the table keys. So that's the first one. And then four... Uh, there's a for loop here. Oh, it's, it's anyways. Um, for loop here, and then the, get the count of the keys, and then it's uh it's putting those, it's preparing that string, and then it's trimming, and then adding, making that MySQL kind of um, insert command, and then now the try is happening, and the raw DL data, dice latte data, and then you're just uh, inserting the keys. So I think the dot is some kind of like string templating inside of PHP, and um, yeah, and, th and then there's like some array map stuff. Man, looking back, I th if you do not use it for a while, I feel like you forget. So you definitely have to program like a lot. But I remember PHP was like the first thing I learned. So that was um, that was that. You know what? Everyone can be embarrassed about their first code, but um, you know what? I'm gonna be shameless. It's all good some uh, language ID stuff. So uh, if uh, the text is, I'm, I think I am um, changing the text from like a one to two or a three or moderate, extensive, no, some to a number field. So that's what was happening here. And then um, there was some scripts here. And uh, yeah, there was uh, basically all the data went into um, MySQL. Yes, uh, that's about it. And um, I mean, sure, PHP was a great skill, like in 2016, 2017.
but as the kind of job market changed, it went from like, you know, that to React and React is super huge. It's like industry standard now. And um, I think now uh, maybe something new to learn is like uh, learning these, uh, learning Svelte and learning all these new um, LLM tools, kind of like LangChain or anything like with chatbot related or anything with, uh, I think, honestly, uh, in 2025, some blockchain stuff will come back. It will trend again. So those are kind of things that you can kind of learn to kind of um, get an extra edge on other employers or, you know, get an edge on some kind of knowledge that other people want to have. But um, sure, like programming is always like this thing that's always changing and things are always trending and not trending even the way you, you know, code or like name your files is always changing. And um Anyways, everything comes back full circle. Like what goes up must go down and what goes down must go up. So, you know, um, sure, you can be afraid about the job market and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, you know, as less and less programmers happen or maybe that's when the more opportunities come. So then when those opportunities come, there's going to be too many opportunities with not enough developers because people dropped out maybe. So uh, just keep studying and I think... You know, you will write some, uh, you know, bad code or code that doesn't work. Or I, I wish I could run it right now, but I don't think I have my school like on my computer. But um, yeah, that's about it. So if I can do it, you can do it too. Coding saves lives.